The Islamic State group has created a database of sex slaves and is using encrypted smartphone apps like Telegram and Facebook's WhatsApp to sell them. The captives, members of a small religious minority known as the Yazidis, are being exploited through a fusion of ancient barbaric practices and modern technology. In one encrypted channel, an IS fighter claims to be selling a 12-year-old virgin. She was priced at $12,500. We reached out to both WhatsApp and Telegram. The company stressed that they use encrypted technologies and content can't be searched when it's encrypted. Uh, however, when they are made aware of abusive content, including the selling of slaves, they take steps to remove that content or block the users. Lamia Aji Bashar, disfigured by a landmine, is a former sex slave. She considers herself lucky. Her two companions were killed in the blast as they attempted to flee Islamic extremists. I survived them, thank God. I tried to escape them four times before, but I managed in the end, and thank God I managed to get away from these infidels. Nearly 3,000 women are still enslaved. Lamia made it out, and she says one captor used her to help build bombs. He beat me too and he was doing everything to me also, and he was forcing me to help in his job, making suicide cars and belts. Attempts to rescue the women have grown more difficult. Militants move them deeper inside areas it controls with each battlefield defeat. Escape is also harder. IS, also known as Dash, uses the database to keep tabs on the women. They uh, register every uh, slave, every uh, person, under the uh, owner and uh, therefore if uh, she escaped uh, every uh, Daesh territory, uh, every Daesh control or checkpoint or security uh, force, they know that there is uh, this girl or this girl with this name, she escaped from this owner. Five of Lumia's sisters have made it to freedom. A sixth, just nine years old, remains captive. Her parents are presumed dead, among the thousands of Yazidis massacred in what the United Nations describes as an ongoing genocide. Luke Sheridan, The Associated Press.